Hello everybody and welcome to Trine, at least I hope that's how it's pronounced. I found this game in my Steam list. I'm not 100% sure where it came from. Probably came from one of the Humble Indie bundles, but I don't remember ever seeing it before. It just kind of appeared on my Steam list. And it's not one of those games that has the dash however many days left like Steam does every now and then. So I figured I'd play it. I looked at the video. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like the old Lost Vikings game, where you have three different Vikings on the same screen. You control each one individually, and you have to go through the level and get all three to the other side. And each of the three has has special abilities, like the shield guy could block attacks, or he could lift his shield up so people could jump on top of him to pass through. I don't know if this game is that way. Um, so I figured I'd give it a try. I know there's a save game here, but that was just me testing things out and then I decided I should probably turn on the subtitles. I haven't done anything, I haven't seen anything. So let's start a new game. Let's go with hard just for some fun. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a kingdom was prospering, but peace could only last so long. The old king died. With no descendant to the throne, the kingdom fell into chaos. Lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike. New kings emerged only to fall the next day. But the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil. The magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. But something was about to happen that would change the course of history. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Okay, so that was an interesting start. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay, you attack with the mouse. You jump with either space or the W button. Move with A and D. Ooh, this is going to take a little while to get used to. Ooh, hey, she can jump. I can't jump back up there quick. Okay, I get the point. How do I make this go away? Use the grappling hook right mouse button. Gotta be careful of that. So we can jump this. Woo! Hey, I jumped it. All right, cool. Whoa, giant fist. Glad this is a Gentle tutorial level. smiled at the thief as she made her way towards the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. Yeah, that would scare me. Mostly, you're allowed in, but you're not allowed out kind of thing. Open 
chest with E. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Fortnight. Is that f like 40 hours? Hey, I can levitate stuff. I don't know what that is either. It's a giant fist on a chain. No, I don't know why. Just thought it would be interesting. Whoa. Ah, crap. Okay. Can I move this, swing this while I'm on the bridge? Yes. What if that blue stuff's magic power? And I'm just waiting ways to get by floating things. Yes, yes I am. saw a glimmering light coming from the shrine. No one had been able to visit it for centuries because of the ancient magic protecting whatever lay inside. Yeah, well, I'll get to the plot shortly. I want to see what's up here. Definitely has an interesting physics engine so far. I guess he came at it from the other side? The thief? No, it looks like the same side. My darling, why 
by the painful look on such a pretty face. What is this object you're holding out? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. Th what kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant. This was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. Okay, so... Left click, left click to attack, right click to block. what these things are for. old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. How is it that all three of them are going down the same path? Yet, this path here is so much different. of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Like what? Oh no. This doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Poof. 